The loud sound of a shift change whistle used to be common around Youngstown. It can still be heard around the YSU campus. Five students in mechanical engineering technology designed and built the whistle. In fact, you may have heard it at the football games. Here's 27 First News anchor Stan Boney. Getting to Youngstown State's new shift change whistle takes a walk up a rocky slope at the Beagley Center end of Stambaugh Stadium because that's where the steam line runs and it's the steam that helps make the sound. It's a sound you can feel, you can feel it deep in your chest and, and that's the only way to have a whistle. You want other people to hear it no matter how far they are. Once it hits that part on the bell, it will push steam directly on there and push it in and out. And with it doing that, it causes a turbulent effect in there, which makes the bell resonate and it creates your sound. I spent some time last Thursday with two of the five students and the YSU professor who built the whistle, which they have named the Spirit of Youngstown. It was their final project before graduating with a degree in mechanical engineering technology. For as long as the steel mills operated around Youngstown, steam whistles were part of the daily operations, signifying both shift change and emergencies. They had to be loud to be heard inside the noise of the mills. The whistle was just a part of the culture. It was just a true historical sound, and we really wanted to bring that back. The first problem, there were no instructions on how to build a shift whistle, so they went to a collector. And he gave us a an old shift whistle that we were able to take apart and then reverse engineer. Most of the pieces, the valve, the electronic control system, the mount, they could be bought. Everything from here up was all just raw material and we had to machine weld, build all of that from scratch. In the mills, the whistle was operated by pulling a chain. At YSU, it's remote control. It was then decided to place the whistle just outside of Stambaugh Stadium and make it a tradition at football games, blowing it after YSU scores and before third downs for the other team. It's really something I can be proud of and someday show my family, my children, you know, this is something I was a part of. We didn't really think that it would be such a big hit. We were kind of just five kids trying to graduate from college. At YSU, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.